All right, so after Attic Records, out in Millwood, Millville, headed into Government Center, which is downtown on the north side of the road. And this Howdy. is Government Center Records. You notice, I've, I've walked in, I've said hello. He's over there doing the check thing with the mic or whatever. The record's still skipping. Still. <laughs> it's gonna drive me crazy. But I keep looking around. Uh, seeing what's in the store. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff up on the wall. Um, some of it I'm familiar with, some of it I'm not. Then I just take a slow look all over the place. And I notice a few things. A number of these records, so far, it looks like it's the popular alternative music of the last like 40 years mixed in with some other things but there isn't like a specific section for punk metal or even jazz which kind of threw me a curveball um i looked around a little bit more the woman came into the store and she talked to the fella doing the mic check so at this point you don't see me but i waved at her to bid hello but neither of them really seemed interested interested or to even give a shit that I was in the record store um, I admit I didn't make like a super big outward gesture to chit chat with them but I'm in a record store you'd think someone would have asked me like what I'm looking for or something but no anyway I headed out from there I would give the government center records kind of a Maybe almost a thumb down. Um, I, I went to go visit there again. Didn't really see anything I wanted. And kind of just a weird feeling, weird vibe in there altogether. Um, but after that, I decided to head down here. I'd come in from the left right there, and I'm going to go to the right this time. I wanted to go check out Germantown and see what's up with that area of town. But with the theme of the weirdness of government center records, I was going through this this German influenced part of town where at one point I guess the German community lived here uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore it got kind of a weird vibe of this area as if it had been segmented from the rest of the city and it's wedged between the interstate on one side the interstate on another side and the government center and then it just kind of disappears into the ether of some neighborhoods and it's it's just really kind of disconnected and isolated from the rest of the city it felt just not super it wasn't a good vibe it, it wasn't like dangerous it wasn't sketchy it just wasn't an entertaining vibe but that's fine you know you hit or miss when you explore like this I got down here though and as you can see there's a taller building up ahead and some trees and at that light begins the official government center in this government center area uh, the government center is basically like some government buildings in the center, but around that center is a big, uh, like a like a park that surrounds the whole government center, and also some museums. Uh, there's like a church over there. You can see the steeple right there to the right, um, and there's some other buildings too. So I, I was a little fuzzy on what exactly the government center is, besides the few government buildings, because there's other things there. Now, one thing nice about this area is the bikeway goes into this two-lane or two-way bikeway around the whole center. And as I rode down here, you can see like there's the tall building over there, which is like the last tall building in this area on the north side. And it looked kind of cool, a little classy building. Um, but some of the buildings were kind of weird, like this one here to the left. Look at it for a minute with me. What do you think it looks like? It almost seems like a dystopian jail or, you, you know, a, a mental, mental institute or something like that. It's very controlled and contained. But, surprisingly, it's a kid's school. So, yeah. Government Center's got a weird vibe. But some of the park area is pretty nice. On a horse on a statue. For example, the horse on the statue. Important fucker. <laughs> So anyway, I headed north from the government center and, and headed up into these neighborhoods here looking for Randyland, which is this wild house 
with all sorts of artistic things in it, let's say, because it's, it's like physical things, it's like sketches on the wall, it's paintings on the wall, it's all sorts of artsy stuff. Um, and even from outside, you can't miss it because that's it. This giant yellow three-story uh, apartment-type building. And it's just, it's an art house is what it is. I would definitely recommend going to check it out. I took a picture of it here for you to influence any of your future trips. Go check it out. It's worth checking out. Uh, I checked it out, but I didn't really snag any pictures of it because I'm just going to let you do that. It's worth a trip for it to see it yourself. I got to see it. You should go see it. But anyway, after I checked this out, I just headed out. And that was pretty much it for this day. Two record stores, had a good time, and I'll catch you next episode.